hey everyone and welcome back. Continuing on with videos about folding, um, we're going to talk about the, sy the symmetry of folding that we can see. Now, the two examples I've drawn here, we have an antiform and a synform. If you're unaware of what those are, go check out my video uh, just detailing the basics of folding. Um, but hopefully, if you clicked on this video, you at least have some background knowledge on folding. So we have an antiform and we have a synform. And Excuse my drawing ability, but these are supposed to be completely symmetrical. So if we, you know, were to draw a line of symmetry down the middle, then, you know, these these would be roughly the same on each side. Each um, limb it dips at the same angle, and they have the same length, right? Those are the examples that I showed in my previous video. However, many times the Earth doesn't work in such a nice, uh, predictable, uniform way, and what we can have is either unequal amounts of pressure applied to a fold, or folding can occur to a surface that has already been folded, um, which can result in a variety of different uh, um, different appearances in the folds that we in the traditional antiform and synform folds. So, for example, if we have one side that has experienced a much greater amount of pressure, then we are going to see that it has been folded much more than the other. Then we're going to have what's called an asymmetrical fold. So this can be either an anticline or a syncline, and it'll look something like this. We've got one limb shorter, one limb longer, on a sin form that would look like something like that. All right. Furthermore, if we have even if we have something where the difference in pressure is even greater, then we can have what's called an overturned sinform or antiform, which would look something like this, where you've got one that has just they they're now dipping like basically in the same direction almost, but um, this one. You know, previously in the symmetrical one, they're dipping uh, to the left and the right of the um, of the line of symmetry down the middle. However, now they actually go in the same direction, or maybe not at the exact same angle, but they are both dipping in this direction. Even in the asymmetrical one, although the angle on this side has gotten smaller, you'll notice that they're still dipping in different directions in both cases. However, now they ha both have the same general direction, even if it's not the entirely same angle. So an overturned sin form would look something like, just imagine it, their direction. Now they're both dipping like that, right? And looks like I'm running out of space, but there's one more type I do want to talk about, which is when a fold that is ex that has been a fold that already exists is turned 90 degrees basically um, so an already existing fold is folded another 90 degrees so that would just look something like this and we call this recumbent so you know the the it looks symmetrical these are likely of equal length. However, it's, you know, that's, that's not the way folds normally occur. Um, so we distinguish it as recumbent, which is the most extreme case where you'll have it a full 90 degrees. Um, if you get anything larger than that, then we just say an antiform has become a synform or a synform has become an antiform. Uh, but you won't get an antiform that has, say, been flipped or rotated. 92 degrees, we'd actually refer to that as an antiform that has been uh, rotated to 88 degrees. And I really don't need to draw separate images of this because, well, you can imagine what the other one looks like. It's been rotated 90 degrees, so it would just look like this in the opposite direction, or even the same direction. Um, but yeah, many times we assume things to look perfect. Uh, to work out perfectly and in the most simple way possible. However, it's just good to know that 
Many times that isn't the case, and we get things like asymmetrical, overturned, or recumbent folds. So hopefully that was informative. Otherwise, good review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.